Joining us now is the Conservative MP, James Cartledge, who backed Rishi Sunak uh, for the leadership. James, you must be delighted that your man is in number 10. Why do you think it took nearly 24 hours for Boris Johnson to congratulate him? Um, I, well, I, I, I'm absolutely delighted, as you say, with the result. Um, I think the most important thing is you know, my constituents in South Suffolk were worried about the economy. I've had a lot of correspondence with businesses, from people who got mortgages who were nervous about what was happening. And I think with Rishi uh, coming into post with the full support of the party from all wings, and yes, as you say now, from Boris Johnson, that sense that we're going to have some stability back. We've got a real chance to move forward after these difficult weeks. So I'm, I'm at, delighted, you say, but ultimately I'm delighted for the country. Are we getting an indication, James, with the, the names that are coming through about those leaving office, that this may be rather more uh, than a minor reshuffle, that he's really going to want to have to uh, get a government in his own making? Well, I mean, it, you know, obviously there's a long way to go on that front. There have clearly been some significant changes already. Um, but, you know, I, I, I have huge faith that he will want to bring together talent from all wings of the party, he knows that we have to unite as a party so that we can deliver for the country. Um, and I think that's been his key message. And actually, I think from colleagues, and you've seen this, colleagues from every single wing of the party, colleagues from seats all across England, in Scotland and Wales, wanting to support Rishi, wanting for us to come together and get back to work delivering for the country. And I think that stable platform is what we now need. But obviously, yes, in the cabinet reshuffle, uh, a cabinet of all the talents from, from every wing, and it'll be interesting to see uh, what further changes there are. Uh, James, what we know about Rishi Sunak as Chancellor, we know him as a big spender. Does that stop now? Well, when you say a big spender, um, as you know, I was his PPS. I joined him just before the pandemic started. The situation was quite extraordinary that he faced. Um, the economy was closed. And when the economy is closed, the government has to step in to support growth. Otherwise, you have uh, an extraordinarily deep recession. Uh, and so he did the right thing. At the time, many people wanted him to go even further, and it has left consequences for the national debt and so on. But uh, I think that he, under, he understands that, and that's, by the way, why he, we did have to bring in some tax changes. I was there when that happened. It was because there were no easy choices to be made, and I think we're back in that sort of position. So, you know, I've got huge faith that we have a chance with Exchequer and a Prime Minister who understand the challenge before them. You've got to make these difficult decisions. And here's a key point for me. With Rishi, what he will do is level with the country about the choices we face. Um, because one way around this is to, you know, try and almost, how can I put it, shy away from the difficult choices. With Rishi, his style will be level with the public about the difficult choices and try and carry them with us as we go through them and implementing those changes. James Cartledge, thank you very much.